Hello, I'm CJ Newburn, and for the compute software part of NVIDIA, I drive a lot of what we do for HPC. I'd like to share some insights on device management in container runtimes uh, and orchestrated environments. So some challenges and solutions. First is to manage. Uh, we see that there are lots of vendor-specific solutions out there, and we're driving towards a common CDI standard for this. Some of the challenges that have come up uh, in real-world use uh, were shared by the folks from SARS uh, in the container, HPC Container Advisory Council. Uh, and here, uh, some other issues we have are affinitizing, for example, to deal with NUMA or to customize plugins for Slurm. Some bonus content I'm not going to cover here uh, on multi-instance GPUs and some more details on CDI available offline. So why do we need CDI for containers and orchestration? Well, the challenge is that device support in containers and orchestration is pretty fragmented. It's inconsistent across runtimes between containers and orchestration. End up with different device plugins and availability across different runtimes, different notions of hooks for Podman and LXC. So for many vendors, the experience is pretty painful. Things aren't portable and plugins across runtimes, for example, are not maintainable where it takes more effort to support features because of a lack of uh, uh, conventions and standards here. So you end up with lots of custom runtimes and shims. And things might not even be universal when you're done. So in the container device interface uh, being run in the container orchestrated device working group in CNCF, it's based on the same model as CNI, uh, composed of a bunch of maintainers who have a vested interest. Uh, and they essentially, the standard uh, describes the available devices, the operations that a runtime need to perform to make devices available inside the container, and some command line examples that should be implemented. It doesn't handle everything, for example, sharing, such as uh, when related containers uh, share, for example, to use and monitor, or independent user share a device. The sharing can mean different things for different devices. So to be more concrete, there are different kinds of devices, and many of the operations that are performed on the container are common, such as the mounting the device uh, into the nodes and uh, to uh, sort of load user land libraries uh, from the runtime namespace into the container. There's some different things you do for GPUs. You have to make sure that devices persist. Um, there's some special services for sharing devices across MPI ranks. For NICs, uh, you have to configure the CNI. For FPGAs, you might have to program it to do the right function. There are lots of compatibility checks that need to be done, and there are many of those are described elsewhere. Cryo is used to inject the OCI hooks, and there are other ways to do this in Docker and others. So a simple example here to be concrete, um, this is what the, the uh, JSON file might look like. And uh, for whatever your runtime is, um, you list the devices, and there are different ways to do that as shown in some of these examples. So you end up with uh, kind of the standard Kubernetes infrastructure on the left, and a device infrastructure. So this is supported by CDI, then you can have the Kubernetes device plugins, and then you can have customized hooks. So you advertise the resource and advertise the runtime operations. I'd like to talk a little bit about layering. So this, as I mentioned, was an example that came up. Um, there are folks that are trying various layerings, such as uh, Kubernetes on top of Slurm, or maybe skip one or the other. Uh, when With Slurm, for example, when you really want to uh, enforce uh, the device constraints and make sure that nobody can spoof or cheat, then you can use C groups, and there are examples there on how to do that. Uh, for specifying the particular subset of devices that you want to be in the container, you can use NVIDIA visible devices, and that's supported by a bunch of different runtimes, for example, those listed. And inside the container, you, for example, may have multiple NPI rings. You can select those with CUDA visible devices. Let's be uh, concrete with a different a specific example. Um, you might need to, for the geeks, you can look at the notes in the bottom here. Um, you can have uh, enumeration that can happen um, that uh, might not correspond to what you think. So you can have some permuting there. And you can select which ones you want uh, with NVIDIA visible devices. And those end up getting renumbered inside the container so that the numbering is contiguous. And then they can be further selected with CUDA visible devices so that you know what you're using for your given process, right? So another thing that has to do with uh, topology awareness, um, you may want to uh, use the Kubernetes topology manager, which has some recent support. You can pick the policy that you want to use, uh, more or less restrictive. 
as of 1.18, you can align code running on the CPU with the NIC or GPU that it addresses. And 1.19, uh, forthcoming, uh, you'll also be able to use device-specific technology constraints, like whether it uses NVMe or not. So you can request CPUs and devices from among the available resources provided by a device plugin, and you need to specify sort of uh, who you're going to call uh, to go back and find the appropriate support that you need uh, from the vendor. Um, so before this, uh, this was so important uh, to us and performance on uh, DGX1s that we used in the uh, NSD uh, cluster that we had, NVIDIA Saturn V, um, that we kind of forked uh, Kubernetes, but now uh, we've been able to kind of upstream the changes and uh, we're back on track using the standard um, uh, distribution now. Another thing that uh, we've tried out is a topology awareness selection. Um, you can have a lot of applications that can kind of peg out the I.O. Uh, in the tiny wrap shown at the right. Um, and some of them have non-uniform uh, communication patterns. Um, and a couple of those are Chroma and Milk that we used. Um, and when you have a machine like that shown at the lower right as a DGX1 um, that was used in that cluster for us, um, then it can really matter how you affinitize things with the CUDA visible devices. So by profiling just a small amount of time, you can end up getting a significant performance increase, 1.24x for Chroma, up to 1.41x for Milk. Um, and then uh, the, uh, this is really from reducing the congestion. And uh, this isn't involving any code change, and it's applied inside the container with the wrapper. We're looking at um, kind of doing uh, some things in the future with that, uh, potentially for considering NIC affinities and affinities to local storage. Um, who knows, maybe that's something we would want to uh, consider for Kubernetes scheduling. So another thing is uh, in the space of uh, Slurm plugins, um, there can be some difficulties in managing the privilege um, and if you're not careful, you can delete or mangle file systems or you can't do app get install. And uh, you can, there can be a lot of complexity to manage of figuring out all these different arguments to the container runtimes and different env environment variables. So we did a proof of concepts just to kind of show this with uh, Pixis. And uh, it manages this uh, cleanly, it gives you the escalate, escalated privilege only inside the container, but not outside. And uh, you set up all of the uh, arguments and variables that you need, keep things simple uh, using PMIX, and there's an example there at the bottom. So just as a call to action here, I uh, invite you to come and join the HPC Containers Advisory Council. Um, you can feel free to ALM and me or talk to many of your colleagues uh, that are already part of this. Um, we have something like 100 people that have uh, participated over time from 35 different institutions. Um, to enjoy the uh, CDI working group and kind of help drive that forward, um, and to uh, try out the Kubernetes topology manager, and to also try out doing some topology where GPU selection. Um, we have kind of a blog post uh, that we'll be um, making at ISC. Or you can have a look at uh, Pixis uh, as a sample for some plugin to see what you can do. Thanks very much. Enjoy the show. <laughs>